The first environmental principle states that nature knows best. High five! Sick! What the heck's this? Hey, don't do that. Do you know that plant is important because all life forms are important? <coughs> no! Don't you know that? No, I don't know. Sorry. This plant might be the future of our future offspring or, or the next generation. So? This plant this this plan this 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 I said this don't do that that's important also what is the use of this it is used for decorations okay period our lesson in environmental science is the nine environmental principles yes why the third principle states that everything is connected to each other just like I'm connected to you. Everything. Do you know that everything in the environment changes? Really? Yeah, really. Really? How? For example is this. Before, as you can see, it's all grass but sooner it will turn into cement just like the playground over there. Once it turns into the, into like that, that's the reason. <laughs> the fifth the environmental principle says that everything must go somewhere. Hello, Jay, honey, look at those garbage. Yeah, they're so plenty. I wonder if it rains, what happens? Yeah, they will fall and they will clog. Then it could lead to floods. <gasps> I don't want that. Hey, you, Dara. Why did you throw your garbage there? Oh, come on, I don't care. You don't care? Explain it to her. If it falls, it will clog the drainage. Then it will flood. Then it will go into your house. Don't you like that? No. I mean, you like that? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. What's that? Hey, you. It's your time to die. Bam! Ours is a finite earth. For example, this girl. She had a beginning, but she also has an end. Like the universe, universe, it had a beginning, so it also has a The seventh environmental principle states that the amount of light that nature can support is limited. This pack of tempura shrimp, shrimp favorite snack from Regent Company was filled with food. Since the two of us ate it, and there is none left for another to chew. Yeah. Just like in grasses or grasslands, when um, too much animals graze over a certain place of grass called overgrazing, <laughs> there, there won't be enough nutrients for other consumers. <laughs> Human progress must consider its effect on nature. of life are important.
Ich bin der Lindner, 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 ich bin der Lindner